Oh, good morning, guys. Got to get that cheap fuel while we can. We're down in Virginia. Right off of 81. I wish every truck stop would have this. You know how hard it is sometimes to need to top a tire off or whatever and have, like be able to find air that you can actually get to with the trailer? Now if truck drivers would just keep uh, take care of them and not run them over like... <laughs> Like they seem to ruin everything else, but get fueled up and we got a couple uh, a couple trucks to haul today, so it's not a very long day. Today's Saturday, it's uh, almost 9 a.m. now. Another day, another Mannheim. More gate passes. I really enjoy this Mannheim though. We're in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Truck lot is right there the gates right there you walk right up this hill on the other side of that trailer is a sold lot everything's usually parked right there so can literally pull a car in from the time you get out of your truck to the time you're up here in the sold lot three minutes makes things so easy picking up a couple uh couple Chevys I'm finally feeling better finally got my allergies under control picking up yeah it might be this extended cab right here the silver one might be one of them yep that's one it's got forces on it man Big baller. It's got a rolling lock cover. Oh man. Seems pretty uh pretty clean for what it is. Hmm. Alright. Hope it fits on the trailer. And then, got a white one. It's supposed to be, my, see out there? Might be that one out there. So, let's get this thing loaded up. Sometimes you just get to wander through a sea of cars. I already found this one. I wanted to make sure it started before I uh, walked up here in their jump box. It's this uh, 2500. Good pap cap on it. LTZ truck. I like this brown. I wish mine had the brown. Wish my Chevy had that brown interior instead of the light, instead of the tan interior. But the other truck I pulled down has some issues. I don't know if it's got a uh, tie rod that's broke. I'll show you why. The uh, right front wheel's all kicked out on it. So maybe fun trying to get it on the trailer. Whoop, all frozen. We'll see though. And drive two hours down here to come home empty handed that's for sure on this episode of i wish my trailer was 102 wide we introduce camber gang that'll do pig i just put that under there because i don't want the weight on this outside rail so it's sitting on that I don't know if you can see it's got wood blocks under it and then back here it fits but instead of, to take some of the weight off I put some more wood underneath but 
that front suspension wasn't messed up it fit perfectly but let's get her strapped down and get back up the road and we're loaded <clears throat> just like that boys uh before anybody asks this trailer is only 96 inches wide so we're not over with where someone makes a comment we are locked and loaded so i strapped these front wheels like this i wanted that one pulling in uh to try to straighten that wheel up as much as possible i don't know what's going on with the suspension control arm i don't see the tie rod being bent but you know all right we've got about a two hour trip up the road on a saturday and we're done Mannheim on a Sunday. Get to walk through the cool section. And 11,000 miles, 15 Huracan. Thing's pretty sweet. It's wrapped. We got seven cars here. And like I said, it's Sunday, so shuttles really aren't existent. So we walk. Good thing about Mannheim PA now is they have lot vision. Which is like an app you can get on and see exactly where the car where the cars are. They have these transponders in them. Let's see if this one's unlocked. No, this one doesn't have one in it. Oh, it's sitting here. So they have these transponders that are supposed to be in the OBD2 port. So they like uh, get power from the vehicle and it'll show you exactly where they are. Actually, I don't know if I have it up on my phone yet or not. Oh yeah. I don't have enough hands. So, shows you where you are. A little dot walking where the car is. And then it'll actually give you a uh, an idea of how far away you are from the car. So it makes it a little nice that you can, uh, as you're walking, see how close you're getting and just get a general idea of, of where the car is. Because they move these cars all around here. I do have a Mazda. I'm hoping it's up in the Mazda section, but I don't think it is. bad thing about coming on the weekends like this you get zero help but they're not busy at all so you can get in and out pretty quickly oh well, we found three i just had to walk half a mile to this last one let's see here it took me 1.6 miles of walking to find three cars so I got four more I'm not gonna pull today. Shuttles will be running tomorrow morning, somewhere around eight or something, seven, eight o'clock. So I'll be here in the morning anyway. So if I can just get a shuttle and, um, cause they're all back in this slot. My rest, the rest of mine are back in this slot, which is, I think it said like 2,900 feet. So over half a mile from, uh, the only gate that's open now tomorrow the gate over here should be open so what i could do is if i get here early and the gates open i could park at this lot over here but so we've got a, a camry a rav4 and a cherokee we're gonna put up on the trailer today nice little three car combo all fits pretty good uh we've got some smaller suvs we've got a cx5 got a Lexus RX RX 350 I think it's called and um, got an Escalade that's back here too so the Escalade's gonna be pretty big so let's uh let's make this drive all the way out and uh, see if we see any cool cars on the way out oh we're loaded 
Let's get the one more strap on. Clean up this mess. And I think we're good to go. Let's go home. Can you guys hear that? Vehicle stopped on shoulder and head. So just past that camper that's pulled over, it just blew out a couple tires. And there was a uh, tire all over the road. Well, I hit a piece and it made like a bump. But now that the Camry that is on top of the trailer, now the alarm's going off. It's got some aftermarket alarm. I couldn't even get the car started uh, for like 10 minutes. And uh, now it's going off and I don't care to stop to turn it off. Guess it'll just kill the battery.